joining Noah and Ricky Raccoon today. And today we're going to keep talking about parts of speech. And today's part of speech is adjectives. Adjectives describe nouns. And Noah, can you remind me what is a noun? Um. A person, place, or thing is a noun. Awesome. And then we also know a little bit about verbs. So remind me, what is a verb? A verb is a word. It's action word. You can do it. You, you can do it. You can do it. It's a verb. Awesome. Okay. So today we're going to talk about adjectives. And adjectives describe nouns. Like I would describe Noah. He's a boy. So I could call him a little boy, and that would describe the size of Noah, right? Mm -hmm. Or I could talk about Ricky, right? I could talk about a raccoon, and there is one raccoon. So one would describe Ricky, right? Oh, oh my, now look, there are two raccoons. So two is a number word, and two would describe raccoons. Right? Because there are two now. Very good. How do these raccoons feel, Noah, when you feel them? Can you think of a word that would describe how they feel? Soft. Soft. So we could say these are soft raccoons, right? And soft is describing the noun. The noun is a raccoon. You can also use color words to describe the raccoon. So what? Kind, what color would you describe? You can use more than one, too. Um, gray, white, and black. Good. So we could say, the I see a gray, white, and black raccoon. Or, I see gray, black, and white raccoons. Because there's two now. I see Ricky and Rocky, both of them. Two raccoons. So numbers can describe our nouns. And so can um, colors, right? right? And what else do we have, Noah? We have some other items here. Let's see what Noah has. Oh, he found a ball. And a ball is a noun, right? We know ball is noun. And this noun is what color, Noah? Green. Green. Oh, there goes Rocky. All right, see you later, Rocky. Rocky says he's not quite ready to learn about adjectives yet. But Ricky, you're ready, aren't you? Okay, thank you for sticking with us there, Ricky. Okay, so we have a green ball, and green is describing the ball. What other words can we use, Noah, to describe the ball? Spiky. Ooh, spiky. Spiky tells us how does the ball feel, right? So the way something feels can be an adjective. And also, what else, Noah? What about the size of this ball? about medium? We could say it's medium, right? Or it's kind of big too, right? It's a big ball compared to the other balls that you have. Oh, what other balls do you have? Let's see. Noah has another noun or nouns, right? Oh, he has three yellow balls and three is a number word. It's describing the balls. How many balls are there, right? And the color Yellow. Yellow is describing the balls, correct? And what what size would you say these balls are? Small. Small. So small is also an adjective. So we have three yellow Ball. small balls, right? And yeah. balls is the noun, but we have three adjectives to describe these, this noun, to describe this noun. So Noah, what about the shape though too? Shape words can also describe the noun. Round. Round. Very good. So we have three yellow, round, small, all are adjectives describing our noun. Again, Noah, what's a noun? A person, place, or thing is a noun. Awesome. All right. So Noah had to find nouns when he went around the house, right, Noah? Right. So show me some nouns, another noun that you found. And then we will describe the noun with an adjective. So you found a snake. All right, Noah, tell me about your snake. Um, my snake is red. Red. We know color words describe. So red is an adjective. What's another adjective? Um, 
big. Big, okay, it's a big snake. So big, red. What about long? Is it a long snake? Yeah. It is a long one. Don't worry, Ricky, it's a fake snake. Don't worry. Okay. <laughs> I thought it was the other way around. Oh, you think the snake would be afraid of Ricky? Yeah. Maybe you're right. Oh, but I'm just saying, Ricky, don't worry. You can't eat it because it is not real, right? Okay, so we have a long, big, red snake. And if I feel the snake, Noah, you said that ball was spiky, but this snake is not spiky, is it? No, it's smooth. Smooth. So we have... Four words that describe this snake. Four adjectives. We have red, big, long, and smooth. Those are four adjectives that describe our noun. All right. Okay, Ricky. We better get that snake away from Ricky because he does want to eat that pretend snake, doesn't he? Okay. What kind of a word is eat, by the way, Noah? Um, me, uh... Not eat. Sure. Is it a noun, a verb, or an adjective? Eat. Uh, I think a verb. A verb, because can you do it? Yeah. And if you can do it, you can do it. It's a verb. Verb. Ooh, I tried to trick Noah. I almost tricked you, didn't I? Okay. All right, what other um, nouns did you find? Because we want to describe a noun that you found. Let's see, what did he find? Ooh, what is this? A robot. A robot. What color is this robot? Um... Uh... Red. Red and? Um, black. Black. So red and black are color words and they're adjectives that describe this noun. Whoa, listen to it, listen. It is loud. Loud, it is loud. When I think about, whoa, when I think about that adjective, it is loud. When I think about the robot, it is loud, whoa. So we have a loud red black robot and tell me about the speed of this robot it is fast fast so fast also describes the robot so we have a red black fast Ro and what was the other one that i forgot um red black fast um robot right okay so we have a red black fast loud robot it was loud that was the word thanks for reminding me noah loud was the other word all right so now we lost the robot okay what <laughs> other nouns do you have noah that we can describe we want to try to find some adjectives that describe these nouns Ooh, what is that a rubik's cube a rubik's cube and what shape is it um rectangle Ooh, is it a rectangle or more of a Square. Square, okay, that's good. And it is in the shape of a cube, right? So we could call it a cube. And how else could we describe it? Um, it has lots of colors. So yeah. could we call it, what could we call it? Um, it's full of color, so we could call it? Colorful. Colorful, good one, Noah. So we have a colorful cube, right? Okay, so we have a colorful cube. And how does it feel? Um, is it soft? No. No. So we could say this is a colorful, hard cube, yeah. right? Okay. Good job, Noah. All right. What else do we have that would dis that we can describe? Let's see. Oh, what'd you find? A white dog. A white dog. So we dog is the noun, right? Dog is the noun, and it is white. So we have white is the adjective. Tell me another adjective, Noah, that describes your dog. Um, it is... How does it feel? Soft. Soft. So we have white, describes the color. Soft. What about the size? Can you tell me an adjective that would describe the size of it? Uh, medium. Medium. Okay, so we have a soft, white, medium, dog. All of those are adjectives that describe the dog, right? And what about a sound? A sound can describe the dog. Uh -huh. Ooh, so I would say it's a loud dog. What do you think? Right. Okay. Or it's actually, do you think it's loud or quiet? Mm, pretty quiet. 
actually, it is quiet, isn't it? And do you know that adjectives can be your opinion? So some people might think that dog was loud, but some people might think, wait a minute, compared to other dogs, it's kind of quiet. So we can call it quiet or loud because adjectives can be your opinion. What do you think? Okay. All right, Noah, let's see here. Why don't you show us something purple that you found around the house? Ooh, let's see here. He found two. Two is describing these boxing gloves, right? Okay, so he has boxing gloves, and we're going to talk about some adjectives that describe these boxing gloves. So we have purple is the color, right? How many are there? Uh, two. Two, right? Ooh, and are they, how do they feel, though? They're actually kind of smooth, aren't they? Yeah. If you could feel them, you could say they're smooth. So we have purple, two, smooth. All describe the boxing gloves, right? Bouncy. Ooh, okay. You could say they're bouncy, too. Very good. All right, so adjectives describe a... Noun. And what do we remember about nouns? A uh, person, place, or thing is a noun. Very good. So adjectives can describe a person, place, thing, and of course animal, Ricky, don't forget, right? All right. Well, thank you so much for joining us on our adjective adventure today. Please like our video and subscribe to our channel. Until next time, we are off with... Rick, 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 Ricky, 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 Ricky.